when we think about the largest predators, the largest dinosaur predators of the past, obviously Tyrannosaurus rex comes to mind. And when we think about the largest predator on the North American continent, T-Rex also comes to mind. But this animal back here, this beast, this magnificent apex predator, known simply as Acrocanthosaurus, was the second largest terrestrial predator that ever roamed the North American continent. Currently, you know, who knows? It's possible something may come along. As of the filming of this, we're still waiting for the Saurophaganax paper, but my gut instinct is that Saurophaganax is not going to be upwards of eight tons. So as it stands right now, this animal behind me here, this apex predator, Acrocanthosaurus, is currently the second largest predator that has ever roamed the North American continent. You know, sit back and think about that for a moment. That's an incredible fact. And this animal gets very little attention. And I'm really hoping that we can get some buzz going with this video that we might convince the producers and directors of Prehistoric Planet, if there is a season three, to think about showcasing Acrocanthosaurus. It would be a truly fascinating part of the show, part of the segment. And it lived with an amazing cast of characters from Deinonychus to the sauropod known as Astrodon, to the massive, what is potentially the tallest sauropod ever, Sauroposeidon. Um, that would be fascinating to see Acrocanthosaurus even next to Sauroposeidon. You know, I don't think it could take it down, but I'd love to see it harassing the young or harassing even juveniles or even the sick of the species. That would just be amazing. So again, if we can get this video going, if you can like, if you can share it, be definitely appreciated. Get this onto the prehistoric planet, people that we really want to see Acrocanthosaurus if there is going to be a season three. But nonetheless, I wanted to take a moment to do this video just to shout this animal out. It does not receive enough attention. Now, back when Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom came out, I was of the opinion that they should have used Acrocanthosaurus for the simple reason that it has a distinct spine atop its back. Now, some may say, it wasn't big enough, but considering it's a Jurassic movie and they're building hybrids, they could have made it as big as they wanted. And I think it would have been fascinating to see an animal with that big ridge atop its back. And the name Acro, you know, the name Acro as far as merchandising and branding, toys, Acro is really a strong name. I think it's better than Giga, you know, the, the Giganotosaurus. So I love the name Acro. And this animal was amazing. A true apex predator of its time, 113 to 110 million years ago, the North American continent. Now, it's believed that this animal weighed about seven tons. You know, weights for prehistoric animals are always difficult to calculate, but it looks like some of the bigger species, some of the bigger members of the species may have weighed upwards of seven tons, about 38 feet in length. Um, it's a little bit different than T. rex in that the arms are bigger. You know, I think to anyone looking at this, sizing up T-Rex versus Acrocanthosaurus, obviously a really good size T-Rex is probably going to outclass a good size Acrocanthosaurus in terms of size. But the actual arms and the ligaments and the muscles were supposedly bigger in Acrocanthosaurus. It, was, it had a stronger arms to potentially grip its prey, bring it in, and finish the deal with that big jaws that it had. Now the head alone was over four feet in length. The teeth were designed for tearing flesh. The teeth of T-Rex were designed for crushing bone, pulverizing things. So big head nonetheless, just a different way of going about things, trying to tear into the flesh. Now it had three claws on the end of those muscular arms, whereas T-Rex had two. So again, there we have some difference. But again, what do we think this animal was eating? You know, as a true apex predator, the answer is whatever it wanted. But I think if we really sit back and think about it, if it really did live with Sauroposeidon and it was in the presence of an animal potentially upwards of 60 feet tall, the top of the head, I don't think it could take that down. But the young of that, definitely probably fair game. Sick, wounded, anything like that, I believe it would have been fair game for a small pack of these now. Acrocanthosaurus also must have been hunting the smaller sauropod Astrodon, about 20 meters in length. So still a good size animal, not a giant sauropod, but still a good size animal, far larger than an elephant. But nonetheless, this is just me taking time 
to acknowledge this animal. I really hope that we get a chance to see it more in popular media. It's an incredible animal. One of the reasons why I like Acrocanthosaurus so much is because of that ridge atop its back. It's distinctive. And I think that's what drew me to Spinosaurus when I was a kid. I love the fact that Spinosaurus was just so unique. And I also love the fact that if I was transported back in time to the time of the dinosaurs, I believe that it would be easy to spot Spinosaurus and go, you know, you see that animal with a six to seven foot sail atop its back. You know that it's probably going to be Spinosaurus. Now, Acrocanthosaurus had the neurospines atop its back, a, a thick muscular ridge. And it's nowhere near as pronounced as Spinosaurus, but it still was distinct and it's unique and it would have separated it from the other large theropods. So that's really my favorite part of this animal. Besides the size, besides the big head, the three claws, the fact that it's almost 40 feet in length, really like the spines atop its back. And it's really kind of fascinating to sit back and think about what that must have looked like when actual flesh and muscle was on it. This would have been a tremendously powerful animal, very muscular. I remember back in the day, somebody once said that Acrocanthosaurus was like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the dinosaur world. This was a very powerful animal, very muscularly built. Would be fascinating to see it brought back to life in prehistoric planet. Brings me to the most important part of the video, your comments, love to hear them. What is your favorite part of Acrocanthosaurus? You heard mine, love to hear yours. Appreciate the support. See you in the next video.